Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jebediah. Right now we're going to do a quick review on a uh, Motion Ducks decoy jerk spreading rig. And if that name isn't long enough for you, I don't know what else is. But these, uh, I have the ultimate spreader here. I've had it for uh, the majority of this season. You can kind of see it behind me. There it is. Um, one of the things I love about this setup is it's a four by three setup. So it's not a straight line. If you look over, sorry for making you guys dizzy, those four decoys right there are on just a regular rig em right jerk rig, all in one line. And that's okay. I like these a little bit better because they kind of act more like a flock. So they act more like, you know, a group of decoys swimming or a group of, of ducks swimming instead of just like some unnatural straight line. Um, like that. One of the ways I tend to break this as well is I put it in the middle of just regular stationary decoys, as you can see. So that way, as these things move, it kind of gives life and ripple to the ones on the perimeter as well. So, so far I've really, really liked this decoy spread. Let me show you how it's rigged up even a little bit more. Let me switch hands. Sorry, guys. So, it kind of has um, almost like a almost like a tent pole kind of setup where inside each one of these arms is a rubber, like an elastic band. This whole thing, that little X just gets set down and disappears. They make even a shallow water version of this where I think those little extension arms are like only two to three inches instead of this one being like five to six. And they can connect two of them together. It comes with this jerk handle. One of the major drawbacks I have is it doesn't come with an anchor, which I thought was really dumb, um, especially when you spend $100 on this setup. Decoy's obviously not included. Like, it was a small thing. I think they're like 10 bucks to buy an anchor, but it was just one of those things where I was like, why, why aren't we doing this, people? Like, come on, you know, I just dropped 100, 100 bucks and you're not gonna give me like a, a $5 cast iron anchor so that's the only drawback other than that it comes with really high quality clips let me see if i can show you so these decoy clips here are great let me show you. i don't know if you can see that Ooh. so the decoy clips right there are great they're like wide gap too so um they fit into the keels really well. I know sometimes I've had some decoy clips where they're like really tight together and they don't, you have to bend them to open them up and it's just stupid. So these are engineered really well or just thought of really well. Open, wide gap. So all these hardware is really nice. Um, overall, I love the setup. I think it gives a little bit more realism is worth $100. Well, that's up to you. And uh, knowing that you're going to have to obviously spot the decoys as well as uh, the anchors this does come apart so you can have two four decoy setups or one seven decoy setup i actually have it rigged as individuals and then i link them on the same jerk line so i can get an extra decoy in there and have eight instead of seven so anyway hope that's helpful for you this is the motion ducks ultimate jerk rig setup uh it's pretty good and I've enjoyed it so far. So let me know in the comments if you have one of these or if you're interested in one of these because I will be doing a more thorough review of these things uh, once I'm back in my house and not in the middle of the uh, marsh on the last weekend of California season. So if you want to know anything about this, have a question, drop it in the comments below. I'll try to address it when I make the full review video. All right, thanks, bye.